Thermal paste. It's often the most overlooked part of your computer build. Your new build, you know, you get it. You're like, yeah, I got a CPU and a GPU and I got this fan and that fan and this cooler. And then you go off and you buy $3 thermal paste and you get crappy performance. You're like, ah, you know, and I gotta buy a better case. I gotta get more airflow, higher fans. It's just as loud as you can go. But what you've done is you've overlooked something so small that can make such a big difference. So let's talk about thermal paste today. And today we're gonna look at the Noctua NT-H2. And I wanna give a huge thank you to Noctua for sending this out to me. A huge thank you to Jacob at Noctua for sending this uh, to me um, via, you know, to review. Uh, it's been awesome. So let's talk about it. Not all thermal paste is created equally. If you've seen um, my last two videos on thermal paste, it is, you know, how well does it do with an air cooler and how well does it do with a water cooler? And we looked at several different brands. We looked at Noctua, Arctic, uh, Corsair, and Thermal Grizzly. So there's four, I think there's like seven or eight thermal paste total, a couple from each brand. We look to see if they're performance. So let's talk about this. This is, like I said, the NTH2. This is Noctua's new thermal paste, and it's going after Thermal Grizzly, the uh, Cryonaut, which we've seen in my, our, our last test was the best. So let's talk about it. This uh, comes in, I think it's like $13 for a three and a half gram tube or it's $25 for a 10 gram tube. Uh, when you buy it though, you do get something really awesome and that is the Noctua uh, Thermal Paste Wipes. Um, you've heard me talk about these on my channel before. They're fantastic. It's an easy way to remove thermal paste um, from both your CPU and the cooler. And it comes with three of those. Um, so it's a little added extra bonus. You're gonna use them, you're gonna love them and then you're gonna to wanna to go and buy them, but you can't because I bought them all from Amazon. And so, sorry about that, but if you want some, hit me up and I'll sell them to you at Scalper Prices. No, I'm just joking. Um, <clears throat> but they are sometimes hard to find. They are fantastic though. So, in our performance testing, let's talk about the test system. We used a Ryzen 3 1200, which if you've, you're gonna see a video on this soon. A uh, Ryzen 3 1200 at 1.45 volts, running at 3.8 gigahertz, uh, using the AMD RGB Wraith uh, Super Duper Hyper 212 combo cooler fast machine, I don't know. It's the RGB uh, AMD cooler that comes with like a 3900X. So we used that and we looked at Noctua, with the NTH1, that's their uh, original thermal paste, the NTH2, and the Thermal Dis Thermal Disney, Thermal Grizzly uh, Cryonaut. And so we looked at those using this system. There was no fans in the system except for the AMD cooler, and we wanted to see how high temperatures can uh, push. And if you don't know, uh, 1.45 volts on a AMD is dumb. Don't do it. Um, it does a, it, it's, it's not good for it, especially on like the first gen with like a 1200. Mm, it, it can put out some heat, trust me. So let's talk about the performance. So the Thermal Grizzly, no, stop. We're gonna do the NTH1 first. The NTH1, after running 15 minutes of OCCT, which is what I use for my stress testing with the large data set AVX2, just putting as much temperature into it as we could, um, had a max temperature of 82.75 degrees. That's really high on Ryzen. It's pretty high. So that's what the NTH1. The Thermal Grizzly had a max of 79.25 on 15 minutes of OCCT. So that's still pretty high. 79.25, 15 minutes on the stress test. Then I did the Noctua NTH2, and it was pretty high actually, it's around 81 degrees, and I was very disappointed. I was disappointed, because I've been told that this was gonna whoop Thermal Grizzly. But I realized the flaw in my testing. 
I just ran OCCT for like 45 minutes, put this new thermal paste on, just like psh, wickety, you know, wickety split. And my CPU was already hot. So I've messed up in my testing. You know, I did the thermal grizzly from cold. It was cold, like it hadn't been turned on, it was cold. So I waited till the next day and I redid the test with the Noctua NTH2 because I wanted to do my due diligence. I wanted the test to be the same. Because if anything on this channel, I'm not gonna be called a shield and I'm gonna do things the right way. So, second day running it from cold at the same settings and everything, the NTH2 had a max temperature of 75.75. It beat it. It beat the Thermal Grizzly. But I wasn't, I wasn't happy with that. I wanted to do it again. So I ran it again. This time I ran it even longer. So I didn't even let it cool down, ran it again. Second time, max of 77.75. So it went up two degrees after running it for 45 minutes straight. I mean, we're, I'm hammering this CPU. You're gonna see a video coming up soon, which you need to subscribe so that you can see that video because it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna talk about CPU de degradation and how long it takes and how you, how you accomplish it. And we're gonna look at some real empirical data scientifically by me, Jeff, the IT scientist guy. So, it beat it. Second time, right? So I ran it for a long time. Now, let's talk about the cost of this because you, you know, cost plays a big part into it, right? Last video we looked at, it was like Arctic was like dirt cheap. Uh, you know, the, the Thermal Grizzly was pretty hot. So Thermal Grizzly, uh, for a three and a half gram tube, is $3.33 per gram. So it was actually uh, one of the highest, Corsair was the highest in our last video. The NTH2 is about $3.50-ish for a three and a half gram tube, which does include these wipes. These are fantastic. So you get a little bit added, you know, I didn't want to count that in though. So it's about $3.50 per gram if you get the three and a half gram. If you get the 10 gram tube, it's $2.50 per gram, and you still get the awesome wipes. So for $24 and whatever it is, you get a 10 gram tube of this, plus a couple of these, and lower temperatures. And 10 grams is gonna last a long time. It is a fantastic value. Fantastic value. So, in conclusion, quit using that crappy thermal paste that you're using. Go out and buy some Noctua NTH2. This stuff's awesome. I'm using it on all of my builds from now on. And I actually bought it. So, and I don't spend my money on just anything. And I don't support just anything. Because I'm cheap. But this stuff really good. So consider this. If you're using crappy thermal paste and you're not getting the temperatures that you need, I mean, we, we've seen this. Like the Arctic stuff that we did in the last video, I mean, it's cheap, but I mean, it was like seven, eight degrees. Think about that. Seven to eight degrees. People will spend hundreds of dollars to get eight degrees Celsius lower on their CPU. Hundreds. I mean, they'll redo a whole system. They'll add fans and coolers and cases and all sorts of stuff. When really, if they're using that junky thermal paste, I'm sorry, Arctic, but you know, if you're using junky thermal paste, why not spend like $25 and get awesome performance, save a bunch of money, and, and go down eight to 10 degrees Celsius anyways? Why would you, you know, I mean, it's the economy, the, the economics doesn't add up. So go buy this stuff, it's linked below. If you haven't yet, subscribe, because you don't want to miss all these awesome upcoming videos. Trust me, you don't. We're looking at CPU degradation. AMD's probably gonna hate me, because I torture the crap out of one of their CPUs. So, link below, go buy it. Go buy a ton of it, use those links. That way, I can afford to buy more myself, okay? Subscribe. Um, because I need you to so that I can keep doing this and my wife doesn't uh, shoot me for blowing all of our money on, on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe. 
leave a comment below and tell me what thermal paste you're using. And then if you switch, let me know. And of course, uh, give not to a huge shout out for me. Tell them Jeff the IT guy sent you and said, hey, I'm going to check out your NTH2 thermal paste. Jeff the IT guy said it's fantastic. And he knows what he's talking about. Listen, y'all have a great day. Don't forget, October 26th, we are going to stream uh, World of Warcraft Shadowlands. And we're going to do it starting at 7 p.m. when it launches. And we're going to stream it probably until I fall asleep. And then we're going to get the next day. And we're going to do it. And we're going to give away a couple keys. We're going to give away a couple uh, uh, keys for Shadowlands. You know, I'm working, trying to see if a brand might sponsor that. You never know. I'm kind of small, so we'll see. Uh, if you want, though, you can show up. We'll have fun together. It'll be a great time. Stay safe out there and keep it real.